What's going on everyone? Just going to show you another week's worth of training real quick. Take a note of how awesome that intro is. Just another reminder of how badass I am with this movie editing technology. So this week is my 2 plus week and uh, this is I think the 14th or something week of Jacked and Tan. I don't know. Um, it's been a long time. So I haven't really done anything this heavy in a very very long time. So here is uh, 410 for a 2 plus set on Monday and for all of these sets that are 2 plus I selected the weight knowing in my mind that I could probably get more than 2. 2 was kind of like alright if you're having a bad day you know maybe you're gonna lift a little bit fewer reps than what you thought. So I kind of accounted for bad days. Just so happens that this has been a pretty good week. So a lot of these are you know moving a lot better than what I had expected. So I'm very pleased with that. However, that being said, it's probably a good week because of the anti-inflammatory medications that I'm on. Because of all this training that I've been doing, I'm due for a serious uh, deload in the next two weeks or whatever when this training cycle is done. And I don't even think I'm gonna touch a barbell for like a week straight. I'm just gonna sleep and eat pizza and recover. Because in my mind, that's how you're supposed to recover. Maybe some Thin Mints, probably Thin Mints. So. This is Tuesday, here's my friend right here, and uh, he weighs about 10 pounds less than me, but is twice as jacked. I don't know how that works, but it does. Got a new 5 rep max on the slingshot of uh, 350, and my hip almost exploded. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm glad I survived that set. Then this is Wednesday's deadlifts. It was originally programmed at 475, but uh, 455 moved pretty well when I was warming up. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go up to 495. And um, I got three, and the third one got out in front of me a little bit, so I got pitched forward and, you know, kind of threw me off, but three is pretty good because the most I've ever pulled is 505, and that was for one. I did 500 for, like, almost two, but my grip failed, so that's a pretty good set for me. Did my back off work. Here's uh, 10 sets of two reps, so 315 on a squat. I wore my belt on this because all the deadlifting kind of got my lower back a little bit uh, exhausted. So put the belt on, everything was moving nice and smooth, it felt really good. Get to Thursday, my elbows decided that they wanted to explode. Maybe I didn't take my anti-inflammatories in the morning. I'm not sure. Um, but I have been taking a lot of fish oil. Is it possible to overdose on fish oil? I'm not sure. Maybe I'll have to find out. Don't really want to find out. But anyways, got a new fiber at max on that uh, overhead press. So military press is coming together. I did some back off work that's not shown. It was close grip at 215 and uh, my elbows almost died on that. So here's Friday, the front squats. I took my time warming up on this, foam rolling, stretching out my lats, my triceps, all that stuff. I was like 305 for five is totally gonna happen today, but it didn't. And uh, that's again, because my mobility, my flexibility is garbage. So I get to this fourth rep right here and my hand almost um, got chopped off by the barbell, but hey, four reps is pretty good. Um, I'm kind of excited about the front squat. Even though I hate it, I'm happy about it, but I hate it. So, I'm a little bit bipolar on the front squat. Did the back off work, 10 sets of two with 335 on the deadlift. If you notice, I'm wearing my belt a little bit higher. I'm taking that cue from uh, Chris Hickson. I think that's his name, Hickson, Hickson, Hodges, Hudson, I don't know. But he wears his belt high, now I wear my belt high. It's feeling good so far, we'll see how it goes. This is today, Saturday, super freaking excited about today. Because this is 310, and I'm doing really clean pause reps. And I took my anti-inflammatories today, and I took a bunch of fish oil today, so I was feeling pretty damn good. And uh, this right here is a new 5 rep max. Almost blacked out because I decided it would be best to hold my breath for the first three reps. Hey, it worked. Got five reps. Had a spotter there in case it kind of went south. But hey, it didn't, and you know, I feel good. Get to the back off work. 10 sets of 2, 145 on the military press. Fantastic. Feeling good. So, all in all... Jacked and tan went really well. And I'm going to be testing, not next week, but the week after. Got some numbers in mind. Think I might hit them. I'll get pretty dang close. But, um, you know, knock on wood, injuries and all that stuff. Um, let's hope I accomplish these goals. Thanks for watching.